more people need to know this fact, that this world has an owner. It belongs to God. But somebody has usurped or taken over to institute his own pattern and ideas, which is called worldliness. And this worldliness is very attractive, but also destructive. You do not have the right to point that God has not helped you in this world. Why? Because he has given a remedy called a grace to solve all your problems. And it has appeared to all men. Nobody is rejected. But there is a condition you have to accept the grace. What is grace? Grace is a special favor God has brought to mankind to redeem us from the punishment and all the evils that will come onto mankind because of our sons. The bondage that holds us on. It is only the grace that can set you free. The grace is this. Jesus came to take you all your yoke, all your troubles, all your burdens, and took the punishment and has paid for it so that you will be released with a special favor to face the goodness of God. In this particular situation, what we are trying to say is that Every person has got a right to enjoy an unmerited favor from God. Now, there is a world with systems which we call worldliness or worldly lusts. These systems have been built as structures by the devil so that he could impose his rule over you and mislead you to a bad lifestyle to a, a very dangerous end. For this purpose, God has come to release this grace to save you. Now, the grace alone is not enough. What the grace demands is that there must be a teaching. Young people, old people, sometimes fall apart. They do not know where to go. But the grace is teaching you that you should be steady, you should be soberly. At the same time, it's also teaching you to deny ungodliness. Ungodliness, godliness from the Bible, according to the, um, the Greek word, means that you are somebody who follows the pattern and the instructions of a particular God you believe in. We have chosen Jehovah, the creator of the universe, as our God. So when we talk about godliness, we are talking about somebody who attaches himself and has got a standard based on what God has prescribed according to his word and according to his prophets and apostles. So you follow these things, then you will be free. When you get a grace, you need to be taught to pursue godliness and then also to do away or deny worldliness. Worldliness is anything that the devil has put to be attractive, to be modern, to be nice for you, but it's a snare, it's a trap that will put you to death. Let us look at people who are hooked on drugs, on alcohol, on gangsterism, on prostitution, on sexual immorality and promiscuity. All these things fall into worldly lust. Why? Because the devil wants to use all these things to arrest you and put you into bondage. And you can see that all these things that I've mentioned will never do you good. Nobody has graduated in any of these things to understand that these things have helped me. I'm a graduate in it. I'm, I have a, a, bad, a better standard of life it's because I'm a prostitute, I'm a drunkard, I'm hooked on drugs. No. So godliness will teach you that whilst you believe in the grace, the grace will empower you by the Spirit of God to come out of these habits and you'll be free and you'll be blessed. This is why you are taught after the grace has come unto you that you should deny ungodliness and then be soberly and be righteous, be godly. And for this reason, you are being prepared to face the appearing of Jesus Christ who will come back. He is described as the great God who will come back to us. We are hoping for him. And I think it is not something bad to make a choice that you will deny these ungodly things 
and then come to Christ where you'll be happy in this world and even also in the world to come. And Christ, when he comes, will crown you and will accept you as a royal in his kingdom. May God bless you.